The Central African Republic is once again preparing to head their polls tomorrow for elections they hope will bring them one step closer to ending years of interreligious violence. Voters will decide on a new president and parliament that day, restoring democratic rule under their freshly approved constitution. Election preparations are underway ahead of the vote, but major challenges lie ahead after years of conflict. Campaigns in the Central African Republic have officially come to a close. Barely three weeks after referendum polls were disrupted in Bangui, the Central African Republic is preparing to head to the polls again on Wednesday for presidential and legislative elections to restore democratic rule under the newly approved constitution. While doubts still loom over the authorities' capacity to hold polls in a country carved up by warlords, a more important test will come after as their next leader seeks to rebuild and reunite a nation that now exists in little more than a name. Since mainly Muslim Seleka rebels seized power in the majority Christian country in early 2013, deposing then-President Francois Bozizé, the former French colony has slid ever deeper into chaos. Abuses by mostly Muslim Seleka rebels fueled the rise of anti-Balaka Christian militias who launched reprisal attacks against Muslim civilians in a campaign of ethnic cleansing. Thousands have died and nearly one in five of the Republic's five million residents fled the violence. The unrest has also repeatedly delayed the polls. While security remains a major concern, observers say the general population demands peace. I'm certain that Central Africans will live together again because it is only one group of people that is making a mess in the country. An example of this is last week at the PK-5, Muslims rallied to denounce the troublemakers in PK-5 that killed with impunity in PK-5 in front of everyone. But despite initial agreements, there has been almost no progress towards disarming thousands of fighters loyal to rebel and militia leaders ahead of the vote. The United Nations has promised a heavy security presence on election day. But even if the polls go ahead without violence, critics argue that the thorny issue of disarmament has simply been dumped in the lap of the future president. You can make as many reconciliation speeches as you want. You can sign as many reconciliation acts as you want. But as long as you do not give people anything to eat, the crisis still looms. Today, not only today, but for decades. Central African Republic has not been able to create conditions for people to have the minimum required to feel comfortable. Turning things around will also require the participation of the country's Muslim community who, despite constituting a minority, have traditionally played an outsized role in trade and transportation. For Bangui residents, the main concern is for the elections to simply proceed as planned. There needs to be a major change. All the blood spilled, killing people here and there. It should not start again. We do not want that. We want for car to become again the car it was before, in the time of Bukasa and other presidents. Let's hope that after the election there will be change. But change needs to first start in our hearts, the hearts of all Central Africans, and together we can cultivate peace. The UN mission MINUSCA has yet to show it is prepared to use force to push disarmament and France's peacekeepers will likely withdraw next year. Michelle Ngele, KTN News.